Hi, this is John from Love the Hunt. I just want to show uh, the different ammunitions I've bought over the years for the two rifles that I own in 270 Winchester and kind of show, tell a little bit about the different ones and what they're specifically for or can be used for. Uh, 130 grain is probably the most popular in the 270. A little faster, harder hitting. Uh, this one here is the federal non-typical whitetail designed specifically for whitetail and it is the 130 grain soft points um, it didn't seem to be quite as accurate in my Weatherby Vanguard series uh, but that rifle is actually made by Howa uh, the barrels a good barrel and it's, it's a pretty accurate rifle uh, just each barrel may uh, like different caliber or different uh, cartridges one over another these here are the federal premium vital shock and I got these at uh, Kentucky Gun Company in Bardstown they're the 150 grain Nosler Petition 270 Winchester. It's their federal premium line. Uh, they're, they're for whitetail as well. Most of these cartridges will be. Uh, but these are the, the premium rounds, like I was saying. They have the, uh, the Nosler Partition bullets, and they've been the standard in the industry for a long time. Uh, it's got the, I think, nickel casing on the outside. You know, they're primed with the best primers. They're just an excellent round. They're, they're quite costly. They really can be because it's a premium round. Yeah. Now, back in 2006, I was able to get these at Walmart. Uh, they're also the federal premium, uh, 150 grain Nosler partitions at amazing price marked down to eleven dollars as you can see the box is quite old uh, they don't have the nickel casing it's the brass on those but they're a really good bullet and my son took his first buck and doe uh, with this round right here and uh, they didn't go far at all I'll move back here to the Winchesters uh, the, some special uh, boxes they had for their anniversary 1960 or 1866 to 2016 150 years uh, they are a PowerPoint round bullet and uh, 150 grain I got five of those boxes when I seen them at Cabela's on sale I just love the box. It's like embossed and probably difficult to see in this lighting, but it's a really cool uh, styling they put on the box. And then we'll go to the bonded bullets back behind here. There's some uh, Winchester come out with what they call Power Max bonded 270 Winchester. Sorry, I got in the light there. Uh, for deer and antelope. Uh, those are the 130 grain, they're a little faster. Um, I took my largest buck to date with this. It was a very mature eight point buck. And interesting story, I shot at some does across the hillside. I went down downhill to a creek and back up. And I totally missed the doe. And she walked off or ran off. And this buck come directly up the hill at me. He wasn't 60 yards. I shot him right between the front shoulder, right on the side there. And I guess it went out his backside, but he dropped like a ton of bricks. The bonded bullets really does a number on things. And then a little later on, I bought this box, I believe it was. I may have that backwards. Yeah, I think the red box was the one I used for my buck and then I bought this set after in the, in the fancier box I come out with 
Let's see, that one doesn't say deer and antelope. But it is the 130 grain pointed hollow point. Those are pointed hollow points, PHP. Let's see if this box says the same. Bonded, rapid expansion, pointed hollow point. Yep, there's, let me open up that box there and get it round out. Just one second. Yeah. There is the actual hollow point. Power, come look! I can get it to focus down on the bullet. Sorry about that. I don't have it. I had forgotten. It's been so many years that they put the hollow point on there, but it is devastating. That's my grandson in the background. We're raising grandkids, so you have to bear with the noise. And then we got the Remington Core Lock, which is famous. 130 grain, uh, pointed soft point. They shoot pretty good. And I got these for my wife and my oldest boy who used to hunt with me. They're a managed recoil by Remington. It's a really unique idea. 270 Winchester, 115 grain bullet, which is 15 grains lower than the average, I would say, at the 130 grain. Uh, the largest really is about 160 grain, but 150 and 130 are the two standards that you see all the time. Let's see if I can pull one of those out real quick. Oops. I got a Winchester silver point that slipped into there. <laughs> I think those were all shot up. Oh, that's not one. gone in that box everyone's that's just brass left well I have to get another box out I thought I had the right ones there and then come over here to the right side now, this is just a, a laser cider you put in the rifle and shoots a laser beam down to, to kind of bore sight it with a new scope that come in pretty handy over here's more of the premium line uh, here's another type of uh, reduced recoil I got a great deal on at Cabela's. That's Hornady, which makes outstanding cartridges, uh, bullets, the whole works, custom light, reduced recoil ammunition. Accurate, deadly, and dependable, and they mean it. Now, what they've done is they've reduced the powder and they reduce the weight of the bullet Turn it around here that's uh, uh, 270 Winchester and 120 grain and the SST bullet which is a really good whitetail load and I'll show you the uh, if you sight it in at 200 yards it's 2675 feet per second at, at the barrel uh, so you sight if you sight it 100 yards, you're 2.1 inches high, and at 200 yards zeroed, you're only uh, 9.1 inches low at 300 yards. So effectively, you could shoot past 300 yards, which I would probably never do unless I was elk hunting. But that's uh, I mean, the 270 can take an elk, but I would probably lean towards my 7mm Remington Magnum for that. Uh, so about 325 yards, you'd probably be around 10 inches low. So you can adjust your scope up if you're thinking you're going to have a shot that, that far out. Or, you know, hold near the, the spine of the deer and drop right into the, to the long stubble lung shot, hopefully. Uh, but it's just a, a managed recoil load. You don't have the, the large recoil, the heavier round, which you probably don't need for a whitetail. You know, uh, getting your shot placement is far more important than a larger bull bullet with uh, more impact and recoil on your shoulder. 
but that's the Hornady Custom Lights. I got like three of those boxes. This is just like a sample of what I brought out. And let's see if I can get a hold of this. <laughs> this is the Hornady Precision Hunter. I just bought these the other night. Uh, my rifle sitting here beside me, which I'll show in a little bit, is a uh, sighted in with these uh, Federal Premium uh, Nozzler Partition 150 grain soft points. And uh, that's just an excellent round. Uh, both my Weatherby and the, the other rifle I'm going to show you is, is sighted with that right now. But I thought about stepping up to these. Uh, Precision Hunter 270 Winchester 145 grain in the excellent ELD bolt. Now this is an X. So it's extra low drag. Oh, uh, what's the X stand for? Expanding. Hello. Yes, that's it. But it's uh, just a really unique bullet. I have them in my 7mm Remington Magnum. That's a Savage Model 110 bolt and uh, it shoots very accurately. Now I need to get out to further distances with it but the ELD bullet is a, a match grade bullet that they designed uh, with the uh, heat shield polymer tip for expansion and they call it the X. I'm fairly certain that's what that's for. And then last but definitely not least is the Barnes Vortex. And you got the beautiful rounds. It's all copper. I think they call that a monolithic bullet with no bullet with no uh, lead in it. Uh, California and some other states don't allow lead in them anymore, I guess. But uh, it is an amazing bullet. It retains like 100% of its weight. It expands up close, it expands at long ranges. It is an amazing and a very accurate bullet as well. And let's see, I got the right side of the box, what do you know? And this is the uh, 130 grain tipped TSX boat tail. BT, I think it's boat tail, yeah. And beautiful bullet and just, I mean, the whole, the whole uh, Barnes line is a premium cost but if you're going for a trophy and you want something that you don't darn well is going to punch clean through bone both sides I recommend the Barnes very much so they're just a, a well well made bullet here's the picture here on the back like a half cut of the bullet polymer tip there's three different kinds, I believe. They probably have more now. These are a little bit older box. I've got three or four of these. And let's see. 3,060 feet per second. This is the 130 grain. So that's cooking right along right there. At 100 yards, if you're 1.5 inches high, 200 yards zero. At 300 yards, you're only, you're only 6.7 inches low, and you know if, if you're good enough and accurate enough to shoot 400 yards and practice and know for a fact that your equipment and yourself as a shooter can take an animal at 400 yards, you know 19.6 inches low, um, you could adjust for that fairly easily. But uh, they're just an amazing bullet, in my opinion. And, I mean, you could go just about anything in North America. Seems like every time I turn the box upside down. White-tailed deer, pronghorn antelope, mule deer, black bear. Um, you know, if I was going for... I would. This would be on the light side for moose. Um you could definitely take one uh, if that's all you had uh, or even an elk this is probably the bullet I would take for an elk if I had a 270 and you know you don't have to have these big magnums 
uh, you know, th 300 wind mag and 338 wind mag and so forth. Now, if you're going for the Alaskan Kodiak Bear and so forth, yes, get one of those. Practice. You know, know what you can hit with it. But, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen 270 take moose. you got to have the proper uh, composition of the bullet. You don't want to be taking no, you know, light uh, Winchester PowerPoint or something like that on a on a big animal like a moose. You need to hit it and hit it hard, and put it down. Okay, well I've talked enough here. That's a variety of the bullets that I have, and uh, we'll go and show you the rifle here in just a minute. Thanks for watching.